everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are gonna do a Japanese take on the jalapeno popper. Now, I visited a place called Kenzo Sushi up in Yuba City recently, and they had a popper called the Zowie. And basically, it is the sushi crab with some cream cheese stuffed into a jalapeno and then tempura batter fried. Holy smokes, these were so fantastic that I knew that I had to try it, especially since you all know that I am gluten-free. And so I'm gonna do my take on this idea and hope, 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 that it is even a fraction as good as the ones at Kenzo because you guys, if you're in the Yuba City area, go check out Kenzo's Zowie Poppers Oh my gosh, they're so good. So instead of talking about it, I'm really excited to try this. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we can make this work without actually deep frying either. We're gonna use our air fryer. So like, I'm pretty excited about this. You ready to go? Let's go. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to take half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Um, I'm using the gluten-free kind because obviously I'm gluten-free. And then two tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm just gonna combine that with a spoon until everything is wet and gooey. Now, if you were not gluten-free, you might be able to look up a recipe for an actual tempura batter that you could do in the air fryer but I figured I have the gluten-free panko. I wanted to really try this. And you just really want a real light crunch. It's... All right, so that's ready to go. So now our breadcrumbs are totally ready. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is get together our crab mix. Now, this is where things get a little, I don't know, questionable because I don't know what they put in their crab mix. Um, so typically in my crab mix, I put mayonnaise, sriracha, and some green onion because I really like green onion in my crab salad. However, on the menu, it said there's cream cheese in it as well. And of course, being that it's a popper, that makes a lot of sense. However, is the cream cheese in the mixture or is the cream cheese just in the popper and then in the, then the crab on top? So I've decided that I'm going to combine the two and make a happy little marriage of everything and then taste as I go and adjust from there. So here I'm starting with eight ounces of cream cheese that is softened to room temperature. And to this cream cheese, we are gonna add some crab. Now, I am not, again, how, sure how much crab that we're gonna add. Um, this is about a pound of imitation crab. Um, so I'm just gonna mix it up and then adjust as I go. So, and I am using my hands because I feel like with cream cheese, I just really want everything to kind of be mixed together well. So I'm just gonna give it a good mix and make a mess as I'm doing it because I wouldn't be Heather if I wasn't messy. All right, next thing I'm going to do is add in my green onions. This is looking great. All right, now we're gonna add some sriracha because it's a spicy, spicy crab. So uh, actually first we'll add the mayonnaise. Oh, first let's taste it to make sure that we even need to add mayonnaise. All right, I'm sure we do. Mmm, that's good. But I do need to add mayonnaise, so let me just wash real quick. All right, and now we are gonna go ahead and just add a good, there we go, a good chunk of mayonnaise. That may have been too much, so hold on. Let's get a little bit of that out. I feel like that might be have been overkill, but when we can always add more in as we go, but you can't really take the mayonnaise back out again. So all, that'll be good for now. And then let's go ahead and use the spoon this time. And probably I needed all that mayonnaise, but all of a sudden I panicked. I was like, oh no, what if that's too much? But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, nope, I'm pretty sure I need it. <laughs> that's okay. I'd rather err on the side of less 
than accidentally have too much. Because anybody have like tuna or crab when there's way too much mayonnaise in it? I know there's hardly such a thing, but it's happened. Oh man. Hmm. It's looking pretty good as I'm flinging crab everywhere. What's that, guys? <laughs> All right, let's taste. I'm gonna grab a fork, give a little taste. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some sriracha. And the sriracha, really, you're gonna add to your own family's tastes. That was probably about a teaspoon of sriracha because a little bit goes a long way, and these jalapeno poppers or these jalapenos are super hot already. We were cutting them earlier in pre preparation for this and we were like, <coughs> Whew, those are hot. So we don't want to put too much, but we don't want it. To, we're not sissies. Well, I'm a sissy. All right. This looks fantastic. Okay. So once it's all mixed together, let's go ahead and give it another taste and do some final adjustments should you need them. <laughs> that's really good oh man that's really good this might be a really bad thing <laughs> because this could be a like that's not I mean this is not a low calorie um appetizer here so what we have here is a jalapeno that has been de-seeded and de-veined. And basically I am just going to push all of my crab mis mixture right into its hollow shell. And don't be shy. Make sure you get plenty on there. See, like that. And we're gonna do that for all of these. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go into the close camera montage mode because no one wants to see me just putting stuff into the jalapeno popper. I mean, maybe, maybe it's an ASMR thing, but probably not. So enjoy this montage. All right, and there we go. Okay, now all we're going to do is we are going to pack, let's, let's just do it with my hands. I was gonna try it with a spoon, but I'm like, I already did everything else with my hands. Why don't I do it with this with my hands? All right, so we are going to sprinkle and pack all the panko right on the top, just like that. And we're gonna do that to all of them. All right, so into the air fryer, these are going to go for 15 to 20 minutes. Halfway through the cooking, I am gonna go ahead and swap them so the top will become the bottom and the bottom will become the top. And then we'll go from there. If they need a little bit more time because the peppers aren't quite done yet, we'll see. So here we go. All right, let's set our air fryer to, let's see, we're gonna actually do custom 350 for 15 minutes. And halfway through, it will beep and tell me to rotate these racks. And so that's what I will do. And then I will be back here when they're all done. So see you back here in a little bit. It's done. Time for them to come out. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at those. Wow. Um, I don't know what I thought I was going to get by doing this, but it wasn't this beautifulness. Wow, these look fantastic. I am super excited about them. I did put them in for an extra five minutes. What I did was at the seven and a half minute mark when my machine beeped, I went ahead and swapped the two um, trays. And then at the end of the time, I was like, hmm, they still don't look like they have even browning. So I went ahead and swapped the trays again, an extra five minutes and I'm so excited. Okay, let's try it. Let's try one. Oh, my mouth is watering. This is so exciting. Okay, here we go. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm, it's hot. Mmm. 
Mm. It's not Kenzo's, but boy, is it good. Mmm, it's hot. Wow, though. I'm actually pretty excited this worked. Not only because are we jalapeno popper fans, but we are sushi fans as well. So the fact that this has a crunchy crust on top of my jalapeno popper, oh, I've got to eat another one. So good. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is so good. Oh, you guys. If you are a jalapeno popper fan and a crab salad fan, wow, this will kick it up a few notches for you. Mmm. Oh. That's good. I will definitely make this again and I will actually make it for my family over in Yuba City and get their take and see if they think it measures up. Kenzo's is probably a little better because of course it's tempura batter, but panko breadcrumbs in the air fryer in 20 minutes, this is a win. Hmm. Boy, are they spicy. My nose is starting to run a little. <laughs> So I guess I'll say goodbye so I can go wipe my nose and maybe eat some. <clears throat> that one was really hot. Whew, let's start sweating. Okay, you guys, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. This year, I'm going to try to step out of all of the boxes I've ever put myself in in the kitchen. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see me try, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. I need some rice. <laughs>